Akar just released the long-awaited Matter Over Thread P2 Motion and Light Sensor. It supports Matter, which means it will work with any smart home ecosystem, no Akara hub required. So we're gonna take a closer look at this and talk all about that. We'll compare it to the P1 motion sensor and see if this is the motion sensor you need for your smart home. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy Apple home, smart home with new videos and live streams published every week. A big thanks to Akara for sponsoring today's video and sending me their brand new P2 motion and light sensor. This is one of those products that I know a number of you have been asking me about for quite some time. So this thread based motion sensor was originally said to launch in 2022. So it took a little longer than expected, but it is here now. Now, it's officially available and you can purchase it today for $33.99 US. This is Akara's second matter over thread sensor following the P2 door and window sensor released in 2023. Now, if you're not already familiar with the phrase matter over thread, I'll explain real quick. Thread is a wireless protocol. That's just how the sensor will connect to your smart home as opposed to other protocols like you know, Wi-Fi, Zigbee, or Z-Wave. Thread is a low power, low latency mesh protocol, so it's great for smart homes. Now, Matter is essentially the certification. This product is Matter certified, which means it will work with all of the smart home platforms like Apple Home, Google Home, Amazon's Lady A, Smart Things, and more. You will need a Thread border router to connect this to your smart home ecosystem of choice. There are a number of matter enabled thread border routers that you can use to integrate something like this into your smart home. A thread border router can be a HomePod or HomePod mini for Apple Home, SmartThings hub for SmartThings, a Google Nest hub if you're using Google Home, or an Amazon Echo if you're using Amazon's Lady A ecosystem. Now, unlike the Acara P1 motion sensor, the new P2 does not require an Acara Zigbee hub. The P2 can connect directly to your smart home without the need for an Acara hub. There are some differences between these two sensors, which we'll get into in just a minute. But inside the box, we have the motion sensor itself, Acara logo on the front, pairing button on the back. If you look real closely, you can probably see the Matter logo and pairing code printed very lightly on the top of the sensor. We have our documentation. Then we actually have two stands for the sensor. Now I'm told that the online version will ship with just one stand, but if you buy this, I guess, in a store like Best Buy or something, you'll get two stands. The stand will stick right to the bottom like so, and they even give us some extra sticky pads. Here's everything inside the box. Now currently you cannot pair this to your Acara hub in the Akar app, even if you wanted to. Pretty soon, Akar will release their M3 Matter Hub, which will then allow you to pair this and other Matter accessories in the Akara app. But right now, you cannot pair Matter accessories in the Akara app. So for now, you must pair this directly to your smart home ecosystem using the Matter Controller app for whichever ecosystem you're using. For me, that's gonna be the Apple Home app. I'll tap New Accessory. I can see my Akara sensor right here. Then I'll just put in the matter code, put it in the appropriate room and rename it if you want to. And then to my surprise, we can see that this is adding both the motion sensor and a light sensor to HomeKit, which is awesome. I mean, I know the box says it includes a light sensor, but so did the other Akara motion sensors in the past. They just never exposed that light sensor to HomeKit. They did in the Akara app, but not in HomeKit. So that's a nice, pleasant surprise. I can go ahead and see the light sensor and a motion sensor are already showing up here in the Home app. The motion sensor is actually labeled as an occupancy sensor in the Home app, but rest assured it is in fact a PIR motion sensor. One of the cool things about Matter is the multi-admin support. So what that means is that I can add this sensor or I can add a Matter accessory to multiple smart home ecosystems simultaneously. To add this sensor to another ecosystem after it's been initially paired, just put the accessory in pairing mode from the device settings, copy the newly generated code, 
and then paste it into your next smart home ecosystem of choice. Both the motion sensor and the light sensor are exposed basically to all the ecosystems except for Amazon's Lady A. Amazon currently only exposes the motion sensor and not the light sensor. Although SmartThings gave me some trouble at first, I was able to successfully pair the sensor to Apple Home, Amazon, SmartThings, and Google Home. I even paired it to my Homey Pro Hub and both the motion sensor and the light sensor showed up over there as well. Here you can see the response times in Apple Home, Google Home, and Lady A. I read in some forums that smart things may have trouble when your accessory is already paired to multiple ecosystems or platforms. So this turned out to be the case for me once I reset the sensor and paired it in the SmartThings app first, it connected with no issues. So I would just advise you that if you are a SmartThings user and you wanna pair the sensor to multiple ecosystems, I would start with SmartThings and then add it to the other ecosystems or platforms as you wish. Now let's talk specs and see what may be different from this new P2 and maybe the previous P1 sensor. First of all, can we just take a moment to appreciate the design of this thing here? It comes in the exact same design as the previous previous P1 motion sensor. So this is the thread base sensor. This is the Zigbee base sensor. They look the exact same. Uh, so pretty awesome that they were able to fit, you know, matter, thread, all that into the same design, a design that I do happen to love, by the way. It's just very small and compact and quite versatile, especially when you compare it to something like, you know, Eve's matter over thread motion sensor. I love the flexible stand that you can choose to use or not if you don't need the stand, you know, depending on your installation. It has a detection range of up to 170 degrees horizontally, and that can detect motion up to seven meters away or 23 feet. But here's the thing, by default, the sensitivity is set to medium, which is five meters or 16.4 feet. The sensitivity can be adjusted between high, medium, and low, but that can only be done in the Acara Home app, which also requires the Acara M3 Matter Hub, which again, at the time of this recording, isn't available. Like I said earlier, you cannot add this sensor to the Acara app at the time of this recording. That won't be possible until that M3 Hub comes. And also along those lines, the motion sensor timeout can be changed but also can only be changed in the Acara Home app. The default timeout is 30 seconds. So for the time being, and unless you end up with the Acara M3 hub, you'll pretty much be stuck with this sensor in the medium sensitivity setting, which again gives you five meters or 16.4 feet and a default timeout of 30 seconds. The detection range of the sensor does seem to be slightly larger than that of the Acara P1 Zigbee motion sensor. Battery life, however, is not quite as good. Just like the P1, the P2 does take two CR2450 coin batteries, but battery life is listed at up to two years for this sensor versus up to five years on the Acara P1 sensor. And the reason for that really just comes down to Zigbee versus Thread. Although Thread is a low power um, you know, protocol, I don't think it can compete to the battery life of many of these Zigbee sensors like the P1. Two years is still not bad at all if that claim holds up. But another thing to note, if your sensor is connected to multiple matter enabled platforms like I've done here, you may actually see shorter battery life because there's a lot more communication going on there. Of course, the main reason to get a motion sensor or a light sensor is for some smart home automations. You can really get creative with these and I love that these now expose the light sensor to all the major ecosystems. Well, I mean, except for Amazon's Lady A. You can already see how I triggered a custom voice announcement through Google with this motion sensor. There's motion in the studio. A really cool automation, something simple you can do in Google Home. Apple, we need that, by the way. Can we please, please get some custom Siri messages for our home automations? Sorry, I digress. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these sensors in my living room though, so I can set motion automations to turn on certain lights at night, but I'll also be able to create automations to close the shades when it gets too bright thanks to that light sensor that's now available in Apple Home. If you're one of these people who prefer accessories that support thread or matter, which is you know the newest standards, 
or if you have no desire to get an Acara Zigbee hub, then this is probably the sensor for you. I think it's a very affordable price for what you're getting. Plus, for just a few bucks more than the P1 sensor, again, you know, you're getting that light sensor exposed to your smart home with the P2 that you don't get with the P1. So just great for smart home automations and stuff like that. Just know that certain exclusive features like the motion sensitivity and the configurable detection timeout will only be available in the Acara Home app and will require the soon to be released Acara M3 hub. Again, not available yet at the time of this recording, but the M3 Matter Hub is said to be released in Q2 of this year, so we'll hopefully be seeing that available sooner rather than later. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see in a future video. I hope this video helped in determining if this sensor is right for you. If you have any questions that I didn't address, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Let me know once and for all, Thread or Zigbee? Which do you prefer for your motion sensors and why? I recently hooked up my parents with a new smart home setup using all the car stuff. They're absolutely loving it. You can check out that video right over here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.